Okay, so is the point 0.15 on the line y equals 5x plus 3? Obviously, that is going to be the question that we're going to answer in this video. And this is a, a basic algebra. We're really kind of reviewing concepts that are related to linear equations. And that's a fancy uh, name for equations of lines. So this is a line. You could graph this line, of course, on the... Um, uh, x, y axis, but here we have y equals 5x plus 3, and we want to know if this coordinate, or pairs, another way of stating that, or x, y point, um, is on this line. So you can kind of think to yourself, well, I could graph the line and then just kind of look to see if 1, 5 is actually on the line. That is a, uh, you know, an approach or, or a strategy, but that is not a practical strategy. And that's not what we're going to do here. We're going to use basic algebra to uh, figure this out. But um, you need to understand linear equations. It's a huge part of algebra. You got to know how to graph lines. You got to know how to find the equation of lines. You got to know how to um, calculate the slope. And you got to know how to handle a question like this. So um, this is not difficult. But of course, if you don't understand it, then, you know, it's obviously very difficult because what we don't understand seems uh, difficult until you learn it and you're like, oh, that was easy. Uh, and that's going to be the goal of this video. So stick with me for a few minutes and you're going to uh, learn to determine whether a point is on a line. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested, you can check out my math help program. In the uh, There's a link in the description of this video. Now, what my uh, program involves, is basically have a, over 100 plus different math courses. So I have the big courses, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two. I'm gonna be soon launching pre-calculus, but I have many, many specialty courses, uh, a lot of test preparation courses. So if you're studying for the SAT, GED, or maybe a teacher certification exam, or maybe a um, nursing exam, whatever the case is, or nursing entrance, college uh, entrance exam, maybe the CLEP exam, Accuplace or Alex exam. There's a ton of those type of tests out there. I actually have uh, specific math courses to prepare you for those different type of tests. So um, a lot of hard work over the years has, um, you know, I've invested to make great courses, okay? You're going to find really comprehensive material in there. So if you need math help, now if you need math help math help in your current class, let's say you're taking algebra, I could help you out as well because I'm going to offer, you know, probably a different way, a different style of instruction than maybe what your teacher is doing. Okay, now one thing, if you are a student that is not optional, and that is note-taking, okay? I call this the golden rule of math. I've you know, develop this rule over teaching math for decades, and it's basically this. Those students who take the best math notes almost always have the best math grades, and the reverse is true. Those students who uh, just don't want to take notes, they just have something against it. And I get that. I was that person way back in the good old days. But you're going to pay a price if you don't take math notes, okay? You have to take notes. Now, why don't people take notes? Well, one, I don't think they understand how important they are because if they did, they would be taking it. It's not enough to have notes, all right, like from your best friend who's taking notes for you, okay? You have to do the mechanics, the actual physical activity of note-taking. This is how this material is going to get into your brain, okay? Retention, comprehension, it all, you know, when you're taking notes, listening, seeing, writing, all of that is extremely important for your retention, and comprehension. Okay, so there's just no replacement to this. So a lot of people struggle with note taking. I think one, they don't understand how important it is, and two, they, you know, it involves this little four-letter word called work. You got to work at it. Okay, and it is a skill, but uh, you will get a 100% uh, return on your investment if you work hard at taking notes. But right now, if you're not the greatest note taker, you need something to study from. So I offer detailed, comprehensive math notes to include. Pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and Trigonometry. You can find links to those notes in the description of this video as well. Okay, now I always like to um, invite all you out there in YouTube land uh, to try this problem on your own. So if you think you know how to do this, maybe just pause the video and just go ahead and see if you can determine the answer to this, right? So it's pretty, you know, you don't want to guess, but the answer is, gonna, uh, is either going to be yes or no. Is this point on this line? Well, it's, you know, either it is or it isn't. But let's go ahead now and get into uh, the solution. 
But before we do that, let's just quickly um, talk about linear equations. So this line here is a linear equation, okay? In other words, it's an equation of a line that I could graph on the x, y axis, okay? So lines have respective equations that, got, that go with them. And uh, the type of equation we're talking about is a linear equation, but it's in a certain type of format here. When you have lines written as y equals some number in front of the x plus another number or minus another number, this is what we call the slope intercept form, okay? So this number here in front of the x, okay, that is our slope. And this y and this x here, this y and this x here, um, correspond to the x, y point of a uh, ordered pair, a coordinate on the x, y plane. So here, let's just sketch it out real quick. Um, here is x and here is y. So if I have a point right there, I describe that point. Kind of think of it as an address system, all right? Like, hey, where are you located at? Well, we use ordered pairs, okay? A pair of numbers that have a specific order, all right? The first is the x, okay? And the second number is the y. And that's how we locate or describe the location of points on the x, y plane. Now, hopefully, um, you know, this is kind of review for you. And, uh, but if it isn't, check out some videos that I've done uh, in my pre-algebra or algebra one playlist on uh, plotting points um, or Better yet, check out my pre-algebra or algebra one course. Okay, so these when this y and this x, okay, correspond to um, the values of, of points that are on this particular line. Now, what is this b? Okay, so we have a b here. It's not a six. It's a b, and uh, it's a little pop uh, question for you. So hopefully, some of you out there are like so excited to tell me, you're like, I know what it is, I know what it is, and uh, okay, and I'm like, okay, well, what is it? Well, B is what we call the y-intercept, okay? It's the location of where this line crosses the y-axis, okay? And it could be plus a number or minus a number, or sometimes it could just be zero. If it's zero, where is that line crossing through? Well, it's going through the origin, okay? All right, so just a quick review about uh, uh, lines in this particular format because it's probably the most common form that we write linear equations in. Now, our question is in this y equals mx plus b form. Okay, so you know, knowing that, you could say, okay, I have a point. Is it on here? Well, how do we determine, you know, how do we figure that out? It's not that difficult, all right? It's actually very easy. So here is the question. So we want to know if the point 1,5 is on this line. Okay. So again, 1 is our x and 5 is our y. Okay. So that's how we're going to think about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in for y. We're going to plug in 5. And then we're going to plug in for x. We're going to plug in 1. Okay. We're going to substitute in for y and x these values, 1 and 5. Okay. So you can see I did this here. All right, and this corresponds obviously to this point. Now, when I do that, what I'm trying to determine is if the left hand side equals the right hand side. Okay, so let's just go through uh, this problem. So, five is equal to five times one plus three. I'm trying to figure out is this true or false? Well, I'll just go through it very quickly. So, we have five. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. So we have to ask ourselves, is 5 equal to 8? Of course, 5 is not equal to 8. This is false, okay? So when I plugged in this points information onto this line, it generated a false uh, conclusion, meaning that this point is not on that line, okay? If this point was on this line, the left-hand side would equal the right-hand side, okay? So... That's how you determine if a point is on a line. You need to understand how to do this, all right? Because uh, you know when you're when you, later on, if you um, haven't already studied the concept of a system, which is two lines, and we're trying to determine where uh, what point, okay, that these two lines intersect, okay. Well, this point has to be on this line, and it also has to be on this line. Okay, and we kind of, you have to conceptually, you know, understand and test these values, all right? So this is a very, very elementary concept, but a lot of students, you'd be surprised, you would be surprised how many students don't know algebra as well as they think, 
Okay, like, yeah, 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 I know that, I know that, I know that. I must have heard that statement at least 150,000 times over decades of teaching math. And I'm sure I said it a lot way back in the good old days in the 80s, where uh, thank goodness there wasn't cell phones because I would have really been lost. If I had a cell phone back in those days, I would be like no notes, I'd be on my social media. But at least back in those days, you know, that wasn't a distraction. But I found other ways to distract myself, talking to my buddies and not doing what I'm supposed to do. Look, I get it. Okay, I'm not trying to uh, beat you up out there if, you know, if you're, you know, having a tough time in math. But let's just be honest. Okay, if you want to do better in math, you got to do the work and you got to get focused. All right. And then, of course, it helps if you have a teacher that teaches you in a clear and understandable way. And that is my job. And hopefully you like my teaching style. And I'll, if you do like my teaching style, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider smashing that like button. Okay, that helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I already have hundreds and hundreds of videos on my channel over 10 plus years on YouTube. Basic to advanced, organized in uh, various playlists there for you. But if you want my best math help, just check out those resources by following the links in the description of this video. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.